What's cracking everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. First off, hopefully everyone had a great Christmas. Um, for myself, I've mentioned it before where um, growing up, I didn't get Christmases. I didn't get um, birthdays. And then I started gelling it uh, at 13. Once you start gelling, it doesn't matter if it's juvenile hall, camp, group home, especially YA and the joint. It's just another day, man. Christmas is just another day. Now, having been out here a few years, um, I realize all of these, it doesn't matter if it's Thanksgiving, it's your birthday, at least for me, for my birthday, I don't want nothing. I like to see other people enjoying themselves. That's really what's important to me. But I notice all these holidays, that's really what it's all about to me. Family, getting together, making memories. This was by far the best Christmas I've had in my whole life. I was with family, loved ones. Um, and I was completely focused on that, you know, um, I had planned on making content. I had told you guys that, but when I was in that environment, that loving environment, it was like, you know what, this, this requires all of my attention and hopefully you guys felt the same way in your situation. But I do just want to say that. I had a great time, and hopefully you guys did, and hopefully everyone will be safe and smart heading into the new year. Let's get this. <clears throat> While I was away, when I could, usually early in the morning when I woke up, except on a Sunday morning, very, very hungover. I felt like somebody had put this eye in that socket and this eye in that socket and then put them back. And I don't know. It was crazy. But I would look at. What was going on in, 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 in YouTube? I was just scrolling. Like I told you, I don't look at anybody's stuff. If something pops up, it pops up. Me being subscribed to Damian Porter, friend of mine I was in YA with. You guys go ahead and check out his content. Those of you that haven't heard me already, go ahead and give him a, a subscription. Check his stuff out. Give him a like. Help him grow his channel. He's a good dude. I saw the video he put out. Honestly, I wasn't going to click on it. <coughs> Because <clears throat> it was said something it had said something like Southerners versus Crip War or Crip versus Southerners War, something like that. I'm not interested. I don't care. Me personally, right? But I know Damien, right? And he's been putting out decent content. And so what I did is I went to the comment section, right? Lo and behold, I see my name. Oh, Debs is gonna make a reaction. I thought about it. <laughs> but we'll just do it like this i'm not going to get into the whole incident itself that's been analyzed and reanalyzed and overanalyzed by a lot of us that weren't there what i want to discuss is where damien talked about when the individual that was involved in the incident in High Desert, when he landed in the city in his valley, for an incident that extremely serious, maybe not to any other faction, but to the Raza from Southern California, an incident like that, what happened in High Desert, that is the most serious it can be. And even in that seriousness, the Raza from Southern California showed that respect to the end of hostilities. Went to the Crips and said, hey, man, this dude did this. We would ask, we're asking that you guys get rid of him. So it will be business as usual. Like Damien says, everybody has that right to say, hey, man, nah, we ain't doing that. I'm just surprised that um, I'm surprised it went down the way it went down um, normally in the past it would have been one of those situations where it would have been addressed that that request would have been posed when the target is on the yard 
there would have been dudes assigned to the target and dudes assigned to the individuals being approached. And when they said right then and there, nah, we're not going to do that. The dude acted like a man. They're not wrong. They're not wrong in believing their, their, their homeboy acted like a man. I don't doubt that at all. I respect it. He does not have to look at another faction's legend as one of his own. He doesn't have to respect them. No one from a specific faction looks at the other group's factions as if they're better than them. To the contrary. Most factions believe that oh, they're legends. We put in more work than them anyways. It's a reality. Right? But I'm surprised they didn't knock those whoever they spoke to that said no. I'm surprised they didn't knock that person or those persons down along with the victim. It didn't happen that way. To me, that's just showing how much. Remember, I'm out here. We are out here. Regardless of how certain individuals like to get on here and troll and act like they're still in prison. Like they're still putting in work on behalf of the prisons. <laughs> We're out here, you know. And for me, from the outside looking in, knowing the way things were. The fact that it didn't happen that way tells me they really do want to, as much as they can, honor this end of hostilities. Keep everybody out. Because the CDC is going to do everything they can. To slam them all back down. And that would be a damn shame. I believe that. Human beings. Do not deserve to be. Caged like animals. Now I will say. Those who target women and children. I could give a damn. They could put them under the jail. As far as I'm concerned. But everyone else. If you have an infraction. You serve your time for your infraction. And then you go right back out to the yard. Shouldn't be indeterminate like it was. For 30 years or whatever it was. <coughs> that said. <clears throat> I believe that in this instance. The blacks did what they feel is right. And I believe there's a lot of people from other factions that would believe too. If it is to believe that 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 man felt disrespected. And he's supposed to do whatever he's got to do. Any other man would. Right. I don't know that to be what really happened, though. See, everybody's running with it like that's fact. I don't even know if what they're saying, oh, your weapon was, I don't, I don't get how, like, is there no more shoot? Like, you can just whack anybody and just get transferred to another yard. It doesn't make sense to me. If he really had used a weapon, how did he get transferred from High Desert to Salinas Valley without there being a two-year shoe? Because this dude's been down over 30 years, right? Or around 30 years. So he would have had, uh, aggravating factors. So how does he not go to the shoe for sticking? Is the shoe completely shut down? There's no, I don't get it. I can't wrap my head around it. That's not for me to understand though. I'm just saying I don't, but prison teaches us valuable lessons. You don't have to go to prison to learn a lesson. The shit will go down in there and then one of us content creators will speak on it. Hopefully you get a, a little jewel that you can apply to your life, right? I've said this before and I'll say it again. And let's go back to what Damien was saying. Damien was saying that, you know, he was in the county jail where it's less structured and, and he was a leader and he was approached by Rasa saying, hey, man, you know, this dude, can you do us a favor and handle this dude? And he said, no, I'm not going to. Everybody as a, as a, as a, in a position of leadership has that right to say no. But I will say this. In life, be it prison, be it out here in the free world, the only time there is going to be a war, the only time you personally are going to get in a fight, use type of, any type of violence against someone, is because there is a lack of communication or slash miscommunication. You interpret something wrong, bam, you get off. One country interprets something wrong, they launch their armies. They launch their bombs, their planes, their boats, whatever. I know when I was doing time, we knew for a fact. We could go to the blacks. 
and ask the males, you know, this is what's going on. Well, can you handle your, can you handle your homie? That way, you know, we don't all have to get into it. And they would give us whatever answer they would give us. We could go to the others, have that same request. We could go to the woods and have that same request. All of those groups could make the same request towards Rasa. Then you had the skinheads. Well known. You do not ask if a skinhead arrives to the yard. He has disrespected your group, whatever your faction is. If you think <laughs> you're gonna just go up to the skins and say, hey man, you know, your 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 comrade or whatever, you know, he, he disrespected us and um, we were asking that you handle it. The skinheads are going to say, yeah, don't trip. We got it. And then they're going to all get up, gear up. I mean, they're going to get off. Skinheads will not touch another white man for any other race, period. So, you know, when you're dealing with certain groups, well, that group in specific, that group in particular, you got to know. And this, th there was an incident that occurred in New Folsom Beef Facility because the Vatos didn't do their homework or just did, weren't. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was just arrogance. I don't know what it was. But they asked the skins to handle their, their homie. And they were like, yeah, cool. And skin has got off. Shit kicked off in a little uh, concrete yard. The next day, the Huras decided they wanted to play. They wanted to be involved in the reindeer games. They cuffed up 12 homies. Let out all kinds of whites, skins and woods. And then they brought out 12 homies talking about you guys got packages. You know if you got a package or not. More than half of them knew, hey, homes, nobody sent me shit. They looked out to the yard door, and they saw. And they were like, hey, homes, set up. They already all cuffed up, went out there. The whites, they moved on the southerners in handcuffs, which is pretty unheard of. Normally, you don't do that. You don't, you don't move on somebody that's cuffed up. But it happened. What was the original issue? The Raza from Southern California approached the skins and said, hey, can you handle this dude? Sure. They got their money. Prison is going to continue to be what prison is. Like uh, Damien said in his video, he is not in, the, in, in prison. Excuse me. He is no longer incarcerated. He's speaking from his experiences. And I only speak from mine. And I also speak to... Um, I like to always look in the future whenever I can. And um, whenever a group comes to the realization that, excuse me, that group is not approachable when it comes to disciplining their people, what happens is the whole group gets moved on. Because it's like, what's the point of giving them the heads up? I'll give you another example. Back when the war was happening in Calipatria, A yard, B yard, and C yard, if I remember right, was completely full-scale war with the blacks, southerners and blacks. D facility, maybe it was C facility, but there was one facility, an individual from Compton, those that know, know. He was the Yavero. He was one of those llaveros that, that why the things had to change when they changed. They didn't happen to him many years later, about a decade later almost. But he was one of those llaveros that he felt in the weight pile, he had his own bench, his own weights. He was above everybody. Became a tyrant. Well, all the other yards were going. That yard was supposed to be going. There was a crew of vatos from Southern California that kept getting in his ear. Hey, Holmes, what are we doing here? We're sitting ducks. You think they don't know that their people are getting whacked and that they're whack They're not whacking homies? Like, did they know there's, there's guerra? You think they're going to sit around and wait? Like, okay, let's just wait and see if the, the essays get off. You think they're going to sit? And he was like, I got this. Holmes. I got this. Don't trip. I talk to him on a daily basis. Everything's straight. We're making fed. Yeah, we're good, Holmes. We're good. And he had a coalition against forming up against him. 
he knew it, but he was he had that whole God God complex by that point, right? A blood landed on the yard that had to go. The the Rasa felt like this is our opportunity. Let's get all of them. They approached me on that bottle right there. This is what time it is with them. Let's get all of them. Eh? This is this is our time. We can't. This bottle can't be here, and he can't just bail out the yard. We got to get him. He says, "Man, I'm gonna go talk to him." He goes and talks to the the bloodshot caller. That dude was like, "Oh yeah, don't even trip. We are we we've been running the yard smooth. This yard's been we've been we've all been making money. We've been avoiding that bullshit on the other yard. This and that. We'll definitely get him. Don't trip. We're gonna get him tomorrow. All right, cool." So this dude goes and tells the homies, hey, I told you about this, hey, everything's feeding, man, they don't want bail, you know what I mean, we're just going to continue making our money. The next day, the Bloods whacked six Southerners, six Southern Raza, whacked them. In the process, they fought back, a few of them took the knives, I think five of the six got shot. With the mini by the Huda. So they got stabbed and shot. Thank you, Mr. God Complex. But see, this is the danger when you have people approaching people. Now, obviously, over there in, in, in Salinas Valley, what happened was they said, hey, can you guys handle this? They said no. Boom. They jumped on him. And they still attempted to keep it an isolated incident. They went after one individual. This video is more for me about always as much as you can be clear in your communication. I'm not just talking about prison. Prison is going to be prison no matter what. When you communicate with somebody in your life, be it your boss, your coworker, even a stranger. I say it all the time. Perception is reality. No matter what the intent in your heart and your mind is, when you say what you got to say, how they interpret it, is the reality for them. As long as somebody feels that they, they can communicate with you, that you're a fair person, violence is never even going to be an option. Unless you're a really sick individual, psychopath that just wants to hurt people, then yeah, there's no stopping that. But just think, even in prison, the worst of the worst, had, that, had they said, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll handle that dude. As many people that, that think prison is just full of maniacs, it would have been business as usual. Everybody would have went back to, to doing what they do. But they chose to make a stand. Aeons. I wish everybody well. I hope everybody... I hope this thing works itself out. But I know one thing. It ain't our business. They'll work it out in there. And we will continue to... Hopefully live a fruitful life out here. Not put ourselves in a position to where we have to live by those laws. Those rules. That lifestyle. Believe me, it's a whole lot more fun out here. There ain't no women in there. You don't get to do what you want to do in there. I mean, you could. I know for the Raza from Southern California, every man... Has the ability to make his decisions every day. If your decision is not in line with the whole, <laughs> you're gonna pay for that decision. And every, I, I know the Raza from uh, Northern California, they run pretty much the same way. Go ahead and do what you wanna do, you feel you wanna do, but remember, you ain't shit. No matter what you think, and no matter who you are. Everybody pays the piper when you step out of line. With that said, I'm going to bring this one to a close. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. If you like the video, please do me a favor. Hit the like because I've been off for a few days. YouTube is going to make it hard for me to get this video out to you. If you see this, make sure you check your notifications. Make sure they are still on all, not on personalized. Because YouTube does that to me when I, when I take a few days off. Imagine that. I took a few days off for a beautiful holiday. Anyways, that's my video. Everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. 
I'm out.